What's going on everyone? Dreamcast720 here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Sega CD, TurboGrafx CD, and PlayStation games for RetroArch on your PlayStation Classic where they come up to where they come up as a list as opposed to loading each game separately. The things you're going to need are going to be RetroArch 175, the non-installer version for your PC. Link will be in the description. A program called Notepad++. Again, the link will be in the description. First thing you want to do when you get RetroArch 175 and you get it unzipped is to run the RetroArch EXE. And the first thing we want to do is we want to load a core. We're going to download a core. So we know that we're using the Sony PlayStation, so we're going to be using the PSX Rearmed for the Sega CD. We're going to be using the Genesis Plus GX Core, and the last one we're going to be doing is going to be the Turbo Graphics CD, and we're going to be using the Beetle PCE Fast Core. All right, and now that we have all three of those. What you want to do is you want to back out. You're going to be in the main menu. You want to go down to where it says Show Desktop Menu. You want to click that. It's going to present you with this window here. So what we want to do is we want to come over here and we want to right click Add a New Playlist. So what we want to do is we want to go into our flash drive and we're going to be doing our Sega CD first. So now you want to make sure that you have the proper naming for it. You can always pause the video for the proper naming once you put that in there. And how you know it's the proper naming is you will see the icon for the system, in this case the Sega CD. So we want to click on that. Come over into this window over here. Right click, folder. We want to go into our flash drive, RetroArch, games. In this case, it's going to be the Sega Mega Drive CD. So you just want to click on the folder, select folder. Now we're not going to be putting anything in the name, path, or core, but in the database, we want to go to the Sega Mega CD. And then you want to make sure what kind of extensions that your game has. So for me, as you see, they are all ISOs. There are 100 games in there. You want to make note of that as well. You're going to go back over here, put .iso or .q or whatever your files are in. Click OK. And then as you see, it found your games. And if you look, there are 100 games that match the 100 total here. So now what we want to do is we want to go back and do the exact same thing for the TurboGrafx CD. Again, if you need the proper naming, you can always pause the video. We're going to add a new playlist. Proper naming in. Click OK. As you see, the icon came up. Click on it. Come over in this area here. Right click, add new folder. The NEC PC Turbo Engine. There you go. Select folder. Database. And the TurboGrafx CD. Now, mine in this case are going to be .q files. So, that one out. Now, I always do to be safe. The uppercase and lowercase because some of them come out differently but if you look down here it says there are 88 games so we want to make sure that that matches and if we go all the way down it shows 88 games and it matches our 88 games now what we want to do is we're going to be doing our PlayStation games which is outside RetroArch in our game folder so if I go into my game folder, it says there are 738 games. 
So I'm going to do the same thing here. Right click, playlist. This one I'm just going to type out. It's Sony with a capital S, space, dash, space, PlayStation with a capital P, and a capital S. And as you see, it found Sony PlayStation folder. We're going back to our, our flash drive that we're using in our PlayStation Classic and using our games folder. Select folder. And the database is going to be the Sony PlayStation. Now I know I have .q files in there and I have .e files. So I'm going to put those in. And it found all 738, matches this number down here, 738. So with that now, we have all of our CD-based systems that we're going to be using in here. So we can close this out. And then as you see, there's, there's nothing here. So if you close out, you want to quit RetroArch and go back in and you will now see the systems that we did. There's my PlayStation games, Sega CD, TurboGrafx CD. So there's the three systems that we did. Now what we want to do from here is we want to go ahead and close this out. And what we want to do in the RetroArch 175 folder is we want to go into where it says playlists. On that folder, and as you see, it shows our three folders, our three playlists that we created our TurboGrafx CD, Sega CD, and the Sony PlayStation. Now, here's where that Notepad is going to come in. You want to download that, you want to install it. As I said, the link will be in the description. Once it's installed, First thing you want to do is you want to highlight the TurboGrafx CD and the Sega Mega CD. You want to right click and edit with Notepad++. So what you're going to see is you're going to see your Sega Mega CD and your TurboGrafx CD. So what we want to do is we want to go into search here at the top and replace. And what we want to replace is all of the backslashes with forward slashes. You want to replace in all open documents. Then what we want to replace is whatever drive letter your flash drive is using. In my particular case, it's drive H. So we're going to be replacing H colon. with forward slash media. All you have to put in there. We're going to replace that in all open documents. So as you see now, it says forward slash media, forward slash retro arch games. Okay, so it, and it's giving you the name of the game. The detect, detect, detect is because there's no assigned core and we don't want to do that on the PC. We want to do that on the PlayStation Classic itself. You can close this. You want to go to File, Save All, and you want to just close both of these out. Then you can close out Notepad++, but what we're going to do is now is we're going to do the PlayStation 1. You want to highlight it, right click, Edit with Notepad. And the same procedure as last time, except you're going to go under search, replace all the backslash with forward slash. Click replace all. Again, we're going to be replacing the drive letter that your PC assigned your flash drive. So in my case, it's H colon.
with forward slash media and replace all. Close this out. And as you see now, it's forward slash media forward slash games because your PlayStation games are in a different spot. So you want to go under File, Save, and you can close this out. So then what you want to do is you want to take these three playlists that you created, want to cut, go into your flash drive, RetroArch, dot config, RetroArch, playlist, you want to paste those in here. Then once you do that, you can close this all out, safely eject your flash drive, plug it into your PlayStation Classic. When you boot into AutoBleam or BleamSync, whatever, which one you're using, and you go into RetroArch, if you look at your different playlists of games, you will see the Sega CD, you'll see the PlayStation, and you will see the TurboGrafx CD. So what you have to do at that point is just assign it the core that you want it to use. Make sure that you have the BIOS and other things for, for these systems on your flash drive, and you're all set to go. And then they look and display just like any other ROM set, such as the Atari, Sega Genesis, Nintendo, whatever you're using. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below.